Oh we Oh we I am Tom La Rufa and I represent France. Hello, my name is Jürgen Simmons and for the Pro Wrestling World Cup I will be representing the Netherlands. I suppose it's an honor. I like I don't consider myself to be much of a patriot, but I know for a fact that I'm the best wrestler to come out of the Netherlands, so it's a logical pick for me to represent that country. Well, it's a big honor to represent France, and uh, I should say that I'm used to it. I represented France in WWE as Sylvester Lefort, and I represented France in TNA as Basil Baraka. So I'm used to the pressure of international competitions, and uh, I actually can't wait for it to begin. I don't know that much about him. I know he's French, I know he's smaller than me, so the object is mainly just to dominate him. Well, I can't take that away from him that he's a big guy, right? But uh, you know what they say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And I plan to bring it to him. Because uh, <laughs> from my trips, from my uh, days in the United States, I realized that a lot of people have a mistaken perception that French people run away from fights. Well, I don't know if that's the rule, but if it is, I'm the exception. And I'm going to bring it to John Simmons. I've gone mainly in Germany, but all over Europe to establish a name for myself, and in Germany they call me the König the Catcher. Do you know what that means? I do. It's the King of Catches Catch Can. Which means I'm the best they have to offer. I am the very best in mainland Europe, I'm the very best in Germany, I'm the very best in the Netherlands, and I am the very best in the world. I know it's cliche, but that's exactly what I am. That's exactly why I love it. It's all about hard work and deserving to compete on that stage. And I'm very proud to compete for What Culture Pro Wrestling because the best, the world best, meet in WCPW. And I can't wait to show that I have my, mm, my spot here. I deserve to be here. I'm going to show it tonight. Second first round match in these rest of the world qualifiers, it's France versus the Netherlands. Tom LaRuffa against Jan Simmons. And this is almost a young lion going up against the experience of Tom LaRuffa. I can't wait to see what Jan Simmons has to offer tonight. Holland's finest against France, their best. Who is going to get it? Tom Laruffa from Nice in the south of France, 33 year old, he is an 11 year veteran, trained by Lance Storm. Well you know that's an accolade in and of itself, and look at the, the sparkle, the sequins on Laruffa's robe, it's, it's something else, it's something to behold, it's almost, the, it's almost dazzling at this point, but it could count for nothing if he doesn't get past Jürgen Simmons here in this first round of the rest of the World, World Cup. Qualifiers. The Ruff has spent some time in NXT as well, you might have recognised in there, he was known as Sylvester the Fort there, also competed in TNA for a while last year. So a very international list of experiences for Tom the Ruffer, and that is going to be why he is probably the favourite here, with no disrespect to Jörn Simmons, but the Ruffer is the man to beat in this second qualifying match. He may be the favourite Bradshaw, but here comes a young lion. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Never, never look past Jörn Simmons. Jörn Simmons with something like a 70 pound weight advantage. 
over Tom LaRoffa. 25 years old, only been wrestling though since 2013. So he's only in the fourth year of his career. So he's given up more than almost three times the amount of experience that LaRoffa has. That's undeniable, but look at the confidence of Simmons. He's coming out here with a robe of his own. I like both these men. I like their style. I like their swagger. I love their confidence, but only one can advance. The marquee player, or Tom LaRuffa. Simmons, a two-time WXW Unified World Wrestling Champion. Representing the Netherlands here, so just like uh, our previous match, we saw Australia versus New Zealand. It's two countries that are very local to each other, competing against one another. This is a local rivalry, no doubt about that. Europe has already sent a lot of great competitors to the finals of the World Cup. We've had uh, two from England, two from Scotland, two from Germany as well. La Ruffa not not enamoring himself, not endearing himself to this capacity crowd here in Newcastle. But that's not what it's all about in the Pro Wrestling World Cup. It's all about advancing, getting to that next round, scouting your opponent. And someone with the experience of Tom La Ruffa, no doubt about it, he will know what Jörn Simmons has to offer. Does it work the other way around? We're about to see. Well, La Ruffa with some uh, theatrics there and the crowd here in Newcastle not particularly impressed. I assure you they will be impressed once this match gets going. This man with a wealth of experience. Well, Simmons with uh, a move that the crowd here found more impressive. Well, it was a good roll, I'll give him that. And the rough is going to offer a handshake. Well, we've seen a lot of respect in the pro wrestling... Oh. Well, there's some uh, aggressive international diplomacy. Well, as you already pointed out, Dave, Holland and France, very local to one another, and there's a bit of hostility there, too. Well... I expect the hostility is going to go up a couple of notches here between these two as we get underway. Neither of these two like to mess around once we get started as you see that raw power of Simmons early on. Four, just trying to get a... Uh, La Ruffa just trying to get a feel for Jörn Simmons here. The collar and elbow tie up between these two. Simmons grabs the wrist lock. I'm going back to his old NXT days there Bradshaw. This man's been all over the place, but he's right here tonight in Newcastle. The Ruffa's going to counter. And look, takedown. Beautiful. And that's the experience kicking in. Now this is what La Ruffa must do. Wrestle this match at his pace. Simmons, eager to make an impression here in WCPW. The world is watching. He would love to be in the finals of the Pro Wrestling World Cup. La Ruffa says, we're going to do things at my pace. Simmons fighting back, though. And there you see why La Ruffa needs to try and keep Simmons off his feet as much as he can. Once Simmons was up there, he had enough power from those legs to release that headlock. La Ruffa, when he had him down on the mat, could have stayed there as long as he wanted to. Now, I would say without hesitation that Jörn Simmons is probably the most powerful of these two men, but obviously La Ruffa the more experienced. Snap there from La Ruffa, straight back. Putting his arm around, around the chin, around the throat there. Oh, holding on. And you're right, there is a very deliberate strategy here. We're seeing clearly from the get-go from the rougher to wear down Simmons. Big man, big frame, needs lots of oxygen flowing around that body. And if he doesn't have it, then most of his offense is neutralized. Very different matchup we're seeing in the first between Travis Banks and Mark Davis. Tom LaRuffa really just dictating what's happening in this boat. Jörn Simmons, how long is he going to be able to withstand all these wear down holds that LaRuffa is offering up? Yeah, the last match was a, a drag race. This is like a, like a chess match. LaRuffa got powered out though, and again, it's the power that Simmons is relying on. There's an arm drag with authority from Simmons, a second one. There was, the, there was the experience edge, Dave Bradshaw. Tom LaRuffa, he just slowed it right back down. The referee is uh, asking Simmons if he wants to give up, but 
Absolutely not so far. Again, though, he's on his feet. And again, a chance here for Simmons to find a way out of that hole from the Rotha. Well, that's going to be the beauty of this evening. The rest of the world, we've already seen... Oh, there's a cover now. It's just a one count. We've already seen... You know, when you watch the Japanese wrestlers, the American wrestlers, the Mexicans, they have a, a, almost a uniform style, if you like. Tonight, it's anything goes. So many styles clashes going on here. Shoulder block from Simmons takes down the rougher. The rougher, if the strategy was to keep the man down, it's not being entirely successful so far. He's checking those teeth, make sure they're still where he left them. Still in the same place. With Travis Banks waiting in the wings for the, the winner of this one in the second round. Travis Banks now has the, the benefit of time on his side. He can sit and watch La Ruffa and Simmons go at it and he will meet the winner. Yeah, I wonder who Banks would rather face. Obviously La Ruffa is more of a similar size to Banks. Simmons uh, would be quite the, uh, the giant in that match but I don't know, I think maybe Banks would rather go up against the man with less experience. Well, that's a good argument, however. Jörn Simmons is almost an unknown commodity to, to many wrestlers who wrestle regularly here in WCPW. Travis Banks may be no exception. And there's that experience once more. I'll tell you, if that big elbow from that 270 pounds that Simmons had hit, that could have spelled doom for the rougher. Instead, he moved out of the way. He's going to draw in Simmons. Shoulder rolls out of the way. And in the corner, Knee into the midsection, takes it down. Picture perfect. The cover from La Ruffa. Two count and a kick out. So La Ruffa starting to get a little bit frustrated. I think he was not expecting necessarily that Simmons would put up the fight he had. Well, he was so composed earlier on in the match, but you're right, you can see that frustration bubbling on through to the surface. Each time referee Joel Allen only hits two. Simmons has got him. And shoulders again. And once again. Sorry to parrot to harp on about this, but once he let him onto his feet, Simmons was right back in it. The rougher gonna be sent to the opposite corner. Oh, ring. He hit that buckle yeah. hard. Ring shirt, ring moved, I think. An inch or two there. Simmons gonna scoop up the rougher. Maybe looking for a, what is he from? a power slam. He still might be. Yes he is! Cover from Simmons. Will this be enough? No, it won't. Simmons did everything right there, even hooked the leg. But again, that experience of Tom LaRuffa coming through for him. And just managing to kick out at two. The crowd rallying behind John Simmons here. Yeah, they've been uh, distinctly pro Simmons and anti LaRuffa from the opening bell. There's a Russian leg sweep from a Frenchman. The cover. Left shoulder goes up and this one will continue. The Russian leg sweep from a Frenchman. We're going all over the globe tonight. The rougher now measuring Simmons though as he gets back to his feet. Took too long. There is another Uranagi from, from that Simmons onto the rougher. He's hooking both the legs, all of his body weight on top of the shoulders and the rougher had to expend an awful lot of energy to kick out of that one. Jörn Simmons now, the one with a bewildered look crossing his face. He thought for sure he would get the three count on that one. Simmons backing into the corner. We know he likes to use a spear to put his opponents away. Maybe that's what he's looking for here. Well, maybe he's going for the boot, I think. Missed it anyway, the rougher. Kicks him twice in the midsection, a knee right to the small of the back. A close line! Oh, he got all of that one. Yeah, and then some. He's not going for the cover, Bradshaw. He has something else in mind. Does Tom LaRuffa go to the top? Yeah, LaRuffa is headed to the top rope here. Splash! Hooks the leg. Is that going to be enough? No. Again, Simmons showing that uh, he's got that never-say-die attitude. I thought that surely would have been all. Never mind the Flying Dutchman. That was the Flying Frenchman that we just saw before our very eyes. LaRuffa. Tuning up the band for that super kick that he uses so often. Didn't get enough height on it. Simmons was able to grab it. Oh, Simmons now maybe gonna look for a, a pile driver of his own. Oh, he didn't get it though. This with the knee there, did the rougher. 
Simmons to the ropes. A couple of clothesline attempts. Did it go? Oh, well, that got the rougher. He took his head off his shoulders. Momentum firmly with Jorn Simmons. Now he can feel it. This, this crowd in Newcastle, they can feel it too. Simmons says it's all over with. Simmons, pile driver. The roughest skull bouncing off the mat. And that will do it. Simmons advances to face Travis Banks. So in this battle between two European nations, Holland defeats France. It will be the Netherlands versus New Zealand. Simmons versus Banks in the second round of the Pro Wrestling World Cup Rest of the World Qualifiers.